Anyone from Papua New Guinea? Hi. Hi. Tony. Can I start now? Yes. Yeah, that is fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at you, Annie. Yes. And first of all, I want to give you to a big virtual hug. Yes, big, please. Big, big Thank love you. from Taiwan, <laughs> and we all miss you so much. And Kate want to oh, say Kate, hello to yes. you too. Are you in yes. New York? Yes, uh, she's in New York. Yeah, I'll tell her I said hello. Okay, I will. I will look in triumph. Papa! I will come back to you! Will Smith的新作《自由之路: Emancipation》因为是片大受好评，还是在奥斯卡奖季推出？能不能让今年夺下最佳影片的Apple TV Plus带下一层，大家都在看。改编自真实故事当年这张照片让黑奴悲惨历史广为人知导演安东福夸和同时担任制片的威尔不走悲情路线强调主角为了家人信念逃命整部电影反而更像警匪追逐动作片紧张之外黑白画面偶尔抹上
doing very deep work. I, I felt it. I walked on set, I saw him, and he said he saw me, and we just naturally decided to do the work and not talk. Did you think about what to say to Ting after six months? Good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and what's his response? <laughs> we gave each other hugs. <laughs> no. Finally! Finally, yeah. <laughs> I, I've been a fan of Will Smith's for so long, and, and uh, you get excited to work uh, with, with the people you admire. Uh, but in, in the way that I imagine a musician who works with a musician, you listen to each other and you play. You don't need to talk about it. You can, you can just listen to each other, and that's what we did. And you are on set every day, even when you weren't in a scene. I can picture that you were in your facial look, looking down fiercely without saying anything, and nobody dared to talk to you, right? I enjoy, I find the way that a journalist might uh, investigate a subject is to just immerse myself in the world. Uh, so yes, I, I would stay on set when I wasn't needed on camera in order to meditate on the subject. It, it, it was an opportunity to, to deeply consider uh, this time in history and also how, it's a, how it applies to today. 不过最最最最苦的是宛如和主角一样经历逃命旅程的威尔，因为导演坚持在事发地实景拍摄，再热再苦再多鳄鱼，大家都得吃苦当吃补。What was your first day like? Were you nervous at all? And what was your first thing? I was very nervous on my first day. <laughs> It was we shot in an actual plantation, so I walked into a big plantation. There was like. Two, three hundred background actors there, and、uh, seeing Will and the children, and getting ready to shoot a very hard scene. It was,、uh, it was very intense. But now I know that I can do that. I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and how how was it going to a real set, not CGI green screen? Yeah, I mean it's very transportative, but、um, but it's hard because you can. Feel the memories of what happened to people there. So,、um, but you know, another beautiful Antoine note was, you know, beneath your feet, what your the soil and the earth that you're standing on is 400 years of pain, and toil, and blood has been spilt on these very grounds. So it was just a constant reminder of、um, to dig deep when telling this story. The story itself keeps you pretty grounded, you know,、yeah. and and、um, the environment. Keeps you grounded and humble, you know. The, the the gifts that God gave us, the hurricane, the heat, the COVID,、mm -hmm. you know, tornado, keeps you grounded and and、um, uh, and, and motivated, right? But most importantly, Peter's story was the thing that was always driving. You look at that photo whenever you're having a tough day, and we would say to ourselves, if Peter can make、uh, it yes, through here、exactly. without any comfort, creature comforts. <laughs> I think we can make it through this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Everything that happened to him was a benefit. He viewed everything that happened as almost a gift from God to prove his worthiness of God's grace. Right. So that slight mental shift of being grateful for everything. Everything was. A benefit. Everything was a gift, and that was a different kind of mindset. That as an actor, it was fun to explore where he would would be able to generate that from within him. And what was the most wow moment, incredible moment of Will and Antoine to you?、Uh, I'd say every morning when I would ask, "How many alligators did you have to remove?" From the set, and they would say thirty to forty、uh, would make me say, "Wow, wow, that that's many,、really、that many, <laughs> that's a lot." But you were in the swamp too, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Snakes and spiders and alligators, and yes, we were we were filming where this story took place, and and、uh, 
Uh, they could have shot it on a green screen or in a studio, but Antoine had a vision and a scope and a determination to make it as authentic and beautiful in all of its brutality. Uh, so, yes, we were we filmed in the places that this story took place. And you just mentioned like all the heat running all the time in the swamp covered with mud, hurricane, COVID, tornado. And which day of shooting was the day you wouldn't want to repeat again? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, there, I can tell you there's, there's, some, there's a thing I never want to hear again. Uh, when, when I'm up to my neck in a swamp, I never ever want to hear again, cut, cut, get Will out, we got a gator, get Will out, we got a gator. I never want to hear that again. I'm going to do everything in my career to, to, to make sure I never have to be rushed out of a swamp because we got a gator, right? <laughs> and don't have you ever worry about him? Worry, yeah, every day. Every day. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't show him that, though. I had to be like, no, don't worry, but it's going to be great. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over there going, oh, my God. <laughs> Will, hurry up, get across the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I worry about him every day. I mean, yeah. he, it's a grueling task he had. I mean, mm -hmm. it was really being brutalized every day. Yeah. You know, uh, mm -hmm. the character was being brutalized every day, and all the elements on top of that was brutal. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it went for seven months, yeah. which is way longer than we expected. Yeah. And so, you know, um, it's a very heavy task and a weight that Will had to carry mm -hmm. as that character. Now, I heard that your team sent you a massage voucher. Only one voucher? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of massages I needed would, probably would have been very expensive. But, um, but yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, it re I remember just crying throughout the whole massage because, you know, it emotionally was a lot, but it reminded me that um, the pain that they were going through, they didn't have any massages. They didn't have anyone to, to speak about with their troubles. So, um, yeah, any emotional trauma I went through pales in comparison to what the people actually went through. So it was, that's why it's so important to honor them. Give you a big hug. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Virtual hug right back. <laughs> What's up, uh, uh, all, all our people in, in Taiwan? Uh, we, we, we hope that you uh, go see and check out Emancipation. Um, th this film is such a um, beautiful, it's, it's brutal but beautiful depiction of, of American slavery, but more than that, the depiction of the power of the human heart to be able to um, endure and overcome. I think that there is something in, in this film that is really critical and important for the, the world today. So uh, I hope you feel the same. Yes. No, please, please go see the film. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is about the human spirit, mm -hmm. about the human triumph, you know, mm -hmm. over evil, mm -hmm. no matter what. Love, love wins. Yeah. Faith and love. Absolutely. So please see the film. Thank you very much. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Hope to see you in one day in, view, in person. Yes, please. I hope so. I hope so. Take good yes. care. Yes, thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Hope to see you one day in person. That would be great. Take care. Thanks for the great questions. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. See you one day. <laughs>